Yeah, so I'm preparing for a tournament uh, that's coming up in 10 days, inshallah. Uh, it's in Riyadh, it's the Riyadh Open. Um, they have a couple of tournaments locally before they have their big, I think it's called Asian Games. I can't remember the name of it, but we'll see how it goes, inshallah. I think this is me. So one thing that people may or may not know is that driving in Riyadh is one of the craziest experiences you're gonna ever feel, uh, go through or drive, you know. Um, it's, I think it has one of the highest mortality rates in terms of crashes and accidents in the world. So that's pretty crazy to think about. As you can see, on the way to Jiu Jitsu today, um, we get to a roundabout and instead of taking a right, the guy makes a U-turn. Watch my face when we do, it happens right now, watch my face. I couldn't believe it. We made a U-turn at a roundabout where cars were coming. Anyway, uh, alhamdulillah, he got me there safe and, you know, sound. But driving here is probably one of the craziest things. Some people may not know about five years ago or so, they just started letting women drive as well. Alhamdulillah, we made it and uh, I get to open map and the fun is about to begin. Um, inshallah, stay tuned and see what happens next. Well, let me introduce these guys. Uh, in the middle, we have Professor Sergio, one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. He's welcomed me with open, open arms, as always. I met him in my first competition ever when I was a white belt in Bahrain, I think. Um, and he came 30 Europeans last year, mashallah. He's a wash, as they say, a beast. On the left, we have uh, the man himself, Jadr al-Qahtani. Uh, he's from a famous family in Saudi Arabia. Quite frankly, one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life, alhamdulillah. He's really good at jiu-jitsu. Um, on the right, we have the man himself. You know anything about jiu-jitsu, you know Ziad. He's an up-and-comer. He just moved to the States, mashallah. He's really good. Um, so I can't wait to train with him in the future. Uh, my name is Tabah Kiftani. Mm -hmm. 23 years old. I've been practicing jiu-jitsu for about two years and a half. The most thing I love in the industry is the atmosphere. Like, it's like a Muslim, lovely. Uh, Society video of me and the uh, famous Jarrah fighting. Uh, he tries to pull card, I try to step over, and do a little pressure pass to uh, north south. He does a good job of keeping his arms and knees together and retaining his guard. Um, now I'm trying to get my legs around and try to bear a bolo back, and I try to get his back. He grabs my head, and now I have to get my hooks in, so I try to do that. But he's really flexible, you know, so he keeps moving. I individually get my back take, but he starts to escape, so I'm like, okay, let me try to go to. Um, quarter mount um, but he gets his knee shield back in and I'm trying to knee shield out his guard is really good mashallah I was impressed with that so I try to attack the arm right here I couldn't really get the grip but he was so flexible man now look at his legs he's like a spider mashallah but he, he reverses it and gets my arm and I was like dude that was really good um, so I was like I need to remember that because his guard retention is like really good he tries to go for a loop choke but I bait him into it because he doesn't have his other leg around and I go around to his, his knee and try to get a cross face I didn't cross face with my hand I went to technique with Godoy where you can grab the air but I was able to get my leg out and go to north, uh, side control I tried to do a knee on belly with the opposite knee but he like I said he's so flexible with his legs he gets them around me I don't even know how <laughs> He's really flexible, mashallah. So we end up here for a second, and I'm trying to, it's like donkey guard or something. I think that's what they call it. I'm in north-south again. I'm trying to put pressure. My hips are too high right here, as you can see, which allows him to start getting his guard. He gets his guard back. And this is our first time, or second time rolling, I think. So I know he has good arm bars and stuff, but um, I'm trying to, you know, fight the arms, get my legs out. Then I try to do the Sao Paulo pass. I went to from Professor Roberto Godoy, and it's starting to work. I don't know if you've seen it before, so I started to put the knee over, it's a trap, and then I'm like, okay, I really want to get this Kimura right here, and side control, so I tried to smash and just roll over to the Kimura, but like I said, the dude is super flexible, and he knows to grab the head, he fights just like Sergio Fernando, the professor here, and he puts the knee on belly, gets him out, and then goes for the arm bar, and he's fighting it for a second, no, I'm fighting it actually, and he does a good job of getting his feet between us. Uh, but I'm just being stubborn here and not letting go until he gives me an opportunity to break out. Uh, he tries to go for the opposite arm. He's doing a good job. He needs to get his chest to my elbow and use it in the round ends. And I explained to him that he had the arm and what he had to do was connect his feet together with one way or just, you know, yeah, just do a different position to get it. But alhamdulillah, it was a great role. Um, he told me what he was trying to do and I understood. So. I enjoyed it and I'll post the other videos for the role. And now I get to fight the legend himself, Sergio. Inshallah, he's really similar size and uh, he does a lot of techniques that I like. 
especially with his De La Hiva and stuff. Uh, here he has a reverse De La Hiva and is trying to get the outside foot in. He has a good grip on my collar, which is pulling me down. I'm trying to fight the legs and the De La Hiva so I can start, you know, passing. But he has a good grip on my foot, so I try to get that foot off, as you can see here. I need to get a good balance and better control and go from side to side instead of being one-dimensional. He extends me out as he goes for the back right here. Um, I notice I know what he's trying to do uh, the Baron Bolo, but I try to grab his pants to stop that. He does a really good job um, of trying to get through that and then get the Baron Bolo, and then people get in the way. <laughs> uh, he ends up on side control right here. Um, so, oh, thank you, Professor Wilson. <laughs> he just moved out the way. But yeah, as you see, Sergio's trying to take my back or something um, and continue going from here. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we're at a stale, stale point, stale point, what do you call it? Um, as you can see, I'm trying to keep him away and get my butt away so he isn't able to take my back. And I give up the position just to come up top right here, but I didn't, you know, I didn't get any position because he has my arm. I was able to get my arm free as we continue fighting. Um, mashallah, you can see right here, he has a good guard, and I'm trying to knee slice through or get the knee through and get my arm out. I try to back step with a mistake because he grabs my leg and comes all the way up and then ends up into side control right there. Um, and he holds me down as you can see I'm scrambling like a cockroach I can't go nowhere <laughs> we ended up moving and coming back mashallah he gets back into side control and I'm like okay time to work uh, it's really hard to get out of side control he has great pressure look at his balance and the way he's putting his knee on the belly and putting his head right on my head he has both underhooks now I can't go anywhere man I'm like dude that's literally nothing I can do uh, but mashallah as you can see right there he's putting his head down he's trying to advance position here window sliding down so we can get back into the camera we go and then he makes a mistake by putting too much weight and i alternate by going over for arm bar i have the arm i think i'm cinching it nothing and boom he passes right back into side control and i'm stuck again and now you can see he pinches my leg and puts both legs on and i can't really do anything at this point he's like he tells me he's like watch this i'm gonna go for something you were just going for but i'm gonna do it better <laughs> and i'm like what is this guy doing Mashallah, and he's like, he's like, just wait for it. And then, Kimura, boom, watch this, boom, tap immediately. He said, and we laugh about it, Mashallah, it was a good roll. Um, we talked about what happened, and he tells me what I did for a mistake, and I didn't hold the hand. And Alhamdulillah, uh, I think that was the end of our roll. Yeah, we just talked about what happened. It's good to talk to him. He was really nice to me. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll post more tomorrow, Mashallah. Next, we have the belt ceremony for Adam. MashaAllah, bro, this dude is a beast. Like, he's going to be professional and well-known in the future, inshallah. I enjoyed rolling with him. Uh, go give him a follow and like um, on his page, inshallah. But the um, belt ceremony was the day he got promoted to green belt. And here he is running through the gauntlet. I think that's what it's called. I haven't done this one of these before. So it was pretty fun to experience it, interest it. Uh, I was interested in seeing what happened. But dude, it looks scary going through that, man. I'm not going to lie. They're ready to smack him as you can see them getting ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is it called Shrek? Oh, the musical. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. <laughs>